Turkey's home, grown fifth generation fighter jet program is very much alive and kicking, not cancelled or frozen despite what some dramatic headlines suggest. According to Aviation Week, the first Khan prototype successfully flew in February 2024, followed by a second flight in May of the same year. That alone shows this project is far beyond the planning or PowerPoint phase there's a real aircraft in the sky. Now the most talked about issue is the engine. The prototypes and early production aircraft are planned to use the U.S. May GF-110 engines. The problem is, the export license for these engines hasn't yet been cleared by the U.S. government. According to Aviation Week, Turkey's foreign minister publicly confirmed that the export licenses for F-110 engines have been stalled in the U.S. Congress that has sparked rumors claiming the Khan program is frozen or cancelled. But hold up, that's not what's happening. Turkey's defense industry agency, SSB chief Halak Gorgon, stated that the Khan program continues at full speed. According to Turkey Today, both design and prototype production are ongoing, and the team is already preparing for the next phase of flight testing. In simpler words, the program has hit a paperwork delay, not a shutdown. Think of it like waiting for your visa approval you can't travel yet, but you haven't canceled your trip either. So what's the real problem? The export license delay simply means that Turkey doesn't yet have guaranteed access to the GF-110 engines for the first production batch. Without those engines, full-scale manufacturing could be delayed. But the prototypes already have engines installed and are continuing with testing. If the license continues to face delays, Turkey has two options. First, it could try to get engines from another country though realistically. That's not easy since advanced military engines are closely guarded. Second, and more promising, Turkey is developing its own jet engine called the TF-35000 through Turkish Engine Industries TI. According to Breaking Defense, the TF-35000 engine is scheduled to power cons by around 2032. That's the long-term plan to make the jet completely independent from foreign suppliers. Meanwhile, production work on Khan hasn't stopped. According to Defense News, Turkish Aerospace Industries TI has already started building multiple prototypes, and new production tooling is being prepared for eventual serial manufacturing. Reports say a sixth prototype has been ordered, and test schedules remain active. No government announcement, either from Turkey or the U.S., has mentioned any kind of cancellation or freeze. So for now, the claim that the project has been stopped is pure speculation. Of course, the engine issue is not minor, it's a real challenge. But it doesn't spell the end of the program. As one Aviation Week report noted, it's more of a schedule risk than a showstopper. Turkey has made it clear that it will move forward with its own resources if necessary. The TF-35000 program is being treated as a national priority, with engineers already testing its core components. The country's experience in developing drones, trainers, and other aircraft over the past decade adds some credibility to their confidence. It's also worth mentioning that the company General Dynamics has nothing to do with Khan's engines that's a mic. Sup. The F-110 engine is made by General Electric, not General Dynamics. The confusion spread online probably because both companies are big American defense names. So, to be clear, the issue is with export licensing from General Electric via the U.S. government, not a lack of supply. Turkey has also been marketing Khan internationally. There are ongoing discussions about potential export partnerships with countries like Pakistan and Azerbaijan. So it wouldn't make much sense for Turkey to cancel a project that's so central to its global defense ambitions. The government and defense officials regularly post updates about prototype testing, structural assembly, and flight performance, something you wouldn't do for a cancelled project. According to Reuters, Turkish leaders have described Khan as a symbol of national pride and technological independence, and they're not likely to drop that anytime soon. So, to sum it up plainly, Khan has not been cancelled, not frozen, and not abandoned. The U.S. export license delay for the GF-110 engine is real, but it's more of a bureaucratic headache than a death sentence. Turkey is pushing forward with prototype development, preparing for production, and working on its own domestic engine to ensure long-term independence. The situation is a little tense after all. No one likes to wait on paperwork, but the jet is still flying, and the project is still alive. If you ever hear that con was cancelled, check the source carefully. Most likely, it's just someone confusing a temporary delay with a shutdown. The truth is much less dramatic the plane's still in the hangar, the engineers are still working, and Turkey's still aiming to fly its very own fifth-generation fighter powered eventually by its own engine.